Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to the end of the regular season. This is our last regular season game. It's a time I look forward to in the game series and in real life because we're going to be playing the Army-Navy game today. One of the classic all-time college rivalry games. But before we do that, let's see where we are in the polls. We've been getting disrespected by the coaches despite the fact we've had one of the hardest schedules this year of any team. We are ranked number three in the nation, which I still think is bullshit, because I bet we had a tougher schedule than West Virginia. In fact, I'm pretty sure last episode, wasn't it? I looked and saw we did. Where are we in the media poll? We are ranked number two on the media poll. That is the respect we deserve. If the BCS was to happen today, we would be in the BCS championship game. If we lose against Army, that's not going to happen. We're going to have to beat them to do that. While I'm at it... Uh, where do I look at... Let me see if I can find team records a second. Alright, we're going to do this just quickly before we get into the game. We're just looking at school records. You see Eccentric in Texas as the school records for passing touchdowns in a season. I wanted to look at receiving. Tenlo Soul has the record for receiving touchdowns in a season and career receiving yards. And season receiving yards. He's having a killer year. And uh, defense, you can see Raichu for the win uh, with sacks in a game. And Flab, I, I think this is his rookie season with sacks in a year. We've got a lot of people who are doing a great job this year. And then, of course, one of our all-time greats, Jamez. All right, let's go play Army.
calls a timeout. Um, let's see. Bruce Sternum for uh, Hayden. We'll let him rest too. That's why Gant's playing, I guess. We're down to our third string halfback because everybody, we've injured two quarter or halfbacks already. We have one timeout left. Go, Harris, go! Touchdown! Woo! That's a go! He's so shy. It's my first time! Go, go, be gentle. What? I'm mighty too. Good job. Well, sometimes the first score, just like dating, is the hardest score <laughs> to get. Boom! And, he converts the extra point. and the nice so thing, too, is we use most of the clock, and we start with the ball in the second half. Mohammed has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Casey fields at the goal line. All right, guys, just get into your prevent defense. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually run it here. It's a good way to get your quarterback killed. Might as well just take a knee if you're going to do that. That's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. The score here in Denver is Navy 7. Denver? Nothing. Did we just leave Philadelphia and go to Denver in the middle of the game? <laughs> hey, everybody! Let's go to Denver! <laughs> We're in Philadelphia, dude. That's where they play the Army-Navy game. We'll be kicking off, and I hope that announcer is high. Go Club Panic! It Pretty solid return. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. All right. Oh, Hayden's back. Excellent. Oh, go Hayden, go. Just got to beat that safety. And that other guy. That's a huge gain. Nice little spin move. Apparently him and Hartman's been working on their ballet. You have asked to go can show you. You can get all your gains without showing your body off inappropriately. Someone's gonna be like, don't slut shame that donkey. I'm not slut shaming a donkey. I just saying he's being a little bit of an ass. <laughs> go ahead and go. It's going to be rough when you're a guy like Hayden. He's a decent back, not great, but he never got many chances to do anything on the team because he was like third string behind Jamez and the second st string behind Hartman. Oh! Oh, would have been nice if he caught it, but what are you going to do? It's third down. We're going to set this up for the kicker. Never mind. Hayden said, fuck it. I'm getting a touchdown. Outstanding. All season long, this guy has been a scoring machine. Every offense would love to have somebody of this caliber. That's amazing. He said that many touchdowns during the year, and he's the backup. And it's not like we run a regular two-back set, you know, or two-back offense. There we go. This is why we're number three in the country. Not because we started off slow and shat the bed for a while. Our defense has done pretty well. They've been very bend and not break. This also helps, though, that Army's kicker must be horrible as they haven't tried any field goals. They would have been maybe a little long, but they had a couple opportunities, you would have thought.
from their own 20 yard line. It's second down. Oh, somebody get him. Makes it out to about the 29. All right, we're going to stick with that three-man front. They, they don't run it up the middle a lot. They just keep going east-west. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense. Well, we've got good defensive ends, and Death Haven and Flab has been awesome this year. If you want to go run by those guys, good luck. Yeah! Go Deontay Wash! Block for him, guys! Hell yeah. Suck it, Donkey! Look, Deontay Wash! Was he sucking his own balls? Get out of here, Donkey! Look, he sat. He looked like he was sucking his balls. Get out of here, you pervert. Pervert. Good job, Deontay Wash! That was weird. See, look at him. Look at what the Donkey's doing. Gross. Army, you better take care of that. <laughs> and I thought our mascot was irresponsible because he's acid code. Oh well. Navy lines up for the kickoff. Casey from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. Yeah, it was a great job by Deontay Walsh picking it up. I didn't see who forced the fumble, though. An awesome job by the defense. Our defense has done great this year. They're the reason we're in contention for the national championship. Nothing is the offense. The offense has done a lot. But our defense has been outstanding. Even though they don't have the greatest talent, most of our defense will never make it to the NFL. Nice sack. for a sack on the play. I say that, but Flab might be the way he's playing. In a season. This guy's been a destroyer all year long getting into the backfield. And I'm sure he's happy to have this new record. Jenkins drops to throw. Oh, thank God we popped it out. Nice hit. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, that was actually a very good throw. Make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover too. I guess we just scared them because we've been breaking their guys. One of our guys is like, "I'm gonna destroy you!" Oh no! So we don't hit down. me. And they're ready to punt this one away. That's what I would be saying to my team: "Don't hit me." <laughs> Alright, Club Panic, it's all you. Pick it up. <laughs> That's a little dramatic. You got to stop my heart for a moment. Not worrying about being hit. The main thing is they got the ball back and now they can go to work on offense. First and ten. It's interesting how he kind of like sucked it up into his hand. He used the power of the force. Run down after a nice run up the middle. A pickup of four on the play. That brings up second and five. From the 48-yard line, second down. Ten little soul, get your ass open! God damn it! And it's knocked down. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback. Whoever their corner is is doing a good job sticking on him. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. He's changing things up. There we go, Butler, who we've hardly hit at all this year. Nice slant play. It's all about timing and getting it off fast. Uh-oh, poor Hayden. He got picked up like he was a little boy. That was his bedtime. The defense brought pressure up front and totally overwhelmed the offensive line. That one was doomed from the start. They're calling an audible. Oh. <laughs> he goes out of bounds. 
Ugh. Okay, he caught it. I was saying, oh, because I was jamming on the button, but I couldn't get it off in time. Sometimes you just can't get it off. <laughs> nice throw. Good job by Club Panic. Third down again. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold him this time. There we go. Two sheep. He's touchdown. They bit on the play action. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Red is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. Nice job by Sheepies. You can see the mascot for Army all set over there. It took us a while, but the team finally learned how to play. It's been like watching Lions games at the beginning of the season, where they wouldn't, the offense wouldn't show up for the first half. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Jenkins with the yeah, fumble! Pick it up! Oh, it's a shame we didn't get that, but at least we got him back a ways. You got to option it to the guy, not behind the guy. Wait, I take it back. Always option it behind the guy. Lateral it behind the guy. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 13. I'm just spreading out the offensive line and the deep or defensive line, sorry. And the defensive linebackers. The defensive line, yeah, and the linebackers a little bit because they keep running it on the outside. They don't run it up the middle much. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Big third and twenty. Passes and it's almost picked off. Were you even trying to catch that? It just bounced off of Marshall's, uh, you know, chest. That's all right. Good defense. They come out in a punt. Is that General Meat over there by Heath? Lamb is the putter. Yeah! <laughs> that blocking is out of bounds. tenuous the best. It was enough to give Club the Panic a good return. Again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. There we go. Fine. Oh shit! What kind of throw was that? We finally had Ten Soul wide open, and that throw was horrible. Navy with a commanding lead. There we go. Finally got the ball to Ten Soul. It took a while to get it to our record breaker. The team's all-time mark for receiving yards. Good for him. He's always been a fierce competitor and a great talent, and every time he makes a catch, there's a chance he could do something big. Well, every time he makes a catch, he breaks a record now because he's the all-time leader for reception yards on our team. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. It's the tailback. And they make That's the a touchdown, stop. right? <laughs> Put it on the scoreboard, maybe? No. Honestly, I just want to get done with this quarter. If we can go into the fourth quarter with a 28 to 0 lead, we're sitting pretty. Oh. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Yeah, go ten little soul. Nice run after the catch. I wasn't <laughs> We were gonna run it and keep the clock going, but they didn't have anybody on him. So we just quickly adjusted. Nice catch and move. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Philly cheese steaks for all. They put everyone Even up for the line. army players. Touchdown. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. Oh, look at the donkey over there. He's doing that naughty, nasty thing again. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Coach, you focus a lot on that ass. I do like some asses. Alright, <laughs> let's kick that. Boom! He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
And now we take a look at the drive. Sorry, Army. Mohammed has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Let's see how Great job by three special three teams right there. Took us a while, but we finally kind of got a good feel for them. I don't mean we're going to fill them up, but getting what kind of offense they're running. Actually, they were smart and adjusted there. <laughs> Didn't matter. At about the 19-yard line. Just a yard there. That brings up second and nine. Good third quarter for us. And we reach the end of the three, and this game is all but decided. The score here in Denver is the Midshipman, 35, the Black Knights, nothing. That's kind of harsh to tell Army it's all but decided. It might be true, but aren't you going to make them feel Second bad? Down and nine to go. Ball on their own They're 19. like, yeah, you lost, you got no chance. So let's not blow it here in the last quarter. I cannot wait to finish this game. Somebody get over there! <laughs> Finish this game and see where we are in the standings overall. We will know before the end of this episode if we're going to get to be in the BCS game or not. He drops back. Fires deep down the right side. Oh, oh, you could have picked that off, dude. Come on, Marshall. Likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really good. Second and ten. Ball on their own thirty-three. Jenkins steps back to pass. Completely I'm totally okay with a pass for zero yards. That's perfect for us. Keep that clock going. Back to pass. That I'm not so okay with. I know it's not as big of a deal. At this point, we just need to keep it ahead of us. Has the ball in front of us. Uh, get back here, dude! <laughs> We've not seen much of that this year. <laughs> Doherty couldn't get back in time. He was like, I'm going to get a backward sack. I don't think that's legal. That's the first thing that uh, Donkey's been able to celebrate all day. It's pretty funny, though. Uh, why y'all bumping on each other? He's looking to pass. Oh, catch that! Y'all were right there. A huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Sit down, son. It's the option for about a two or three yard gain. They'll line it up again on third down. See skates bricks coming out. Our defensive line's getting a little tired. Oh shit. Come on, get him. Yeah! Nice job by the defense. Another sack. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no. Oh, they're going for it. And we injured another of their players. Outstanding. They've gone for more fourth downs in this game than I think any team we've played this season. And another sack! Death Haven, our end. He ended that drive. Sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Seriously, dudes? We're trying to run it. But if you're going to do that and leave Tenlo still open... Drops back. Oh, man. How did you not catch that? <laughs> it was right in your hands, dude. They gotta bring it out on a silver tray. Second and ten. Your ball, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Jeeves. Hand off, and he's met immediately. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Well, let's come out and do a two tight end formation if I can figure out where single back is. There we go. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. 
try and spread it out a little bit. Uh, sheepies go deep. Ellen block, just in case. Drops back to pass. Yeah, Tenloso coming through. Big catch. That is a huge first down. Mr. America, excellent throw. Uh, the Army fans are starting to leave. Army doesn't give up. Come on, dudes. Never leave a man behind. You can't leave the guys on the field behind. I wouldn't. It's first down and ten now after picking up some great. See, has to go over there on the right. Navy up by a big margin. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Their linebacker was ready for Hayden. That whole way through, he looked like he was going to rock and. But getting up to the linebackers, that way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. They're just going to let that clock run a little bit. 35 to 0. I don't know if that's going to convince the coaches we're good. But I'm going to be so pissed if we don't get the BCS game. Alright, let's run into the and left. Third down. Right now, our biggest enemy is the clock, which isn't a huge enemy, to be honest. In control. It's not like they're going to be over there punching it and kicking it. Coach has gone crazy again. She said she wanted the clock. I think he wanted the cock. Oh, that's why my date went bad. I should have said she. It would have made a lot more sense. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> let's run. They go to the ground and he stops short. We're just going to run it here. We're not going to be rude to Army and run up the score, number one. And number two, if we do get a first down, then we're guaranteed to win virtually. We'll probably win anyway. Navy. Up big. Just under three to go in regulation. I just keep that clock going. We don't need to disrespect our fellow servicemen in the game. Oh, did Hayden get a first? He did! Excellent. It's time for the defense to buckle down. They need to start hitting the gaps and getting into the backfield. I hate to break it to Herb Street there. Herb, Herb Street. Slurp Street. Gooter. But um, I'm pretty sure our Army's lost this game. I know I might be going out on the limb a little bit. But I'm pretty sure they lost. Whoa! I forgot about motion... Six axis helio. Straight the middle and Not six the asses. A gain of three yards by the fullback. One thing that the coaches always say there. about this sophomore. I'm glad nobody walks in. I'm glad there's nobody here to that walk in in the middle well of that. It's so awkward to have somebody walk in. Six asses. Oh, well, there's Paul talking again. All right, second and six. We might actually Just need it after this if we don't get it in. Just to be polite. Third and four. Uh, where is take a knee? I'd love to do a fake play. Never done a fake play, I don't think. Here's play number ten on the drive. It's third down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. I hate to break it to you guys, chanting for defense, but the game is over. <laughs> Usually, you don't chant defense when somebody's about to kneel the ball or take a knee. I don't know if we take that knee, but... And he takes a knee. And that's game! And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Well, we're not actually going for it. We're just making sure we go out there so the clock runs. Not that you'd have to do that in real life. Sometimes in the game it slows down. Or stops until you call a play, I mean. And there you go, we win! We are undefeated two seasons in a row. We have not lost a game in more than two seasons. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one. Navy, 35, Army, nothing. I cannot wait 
to go see where we are in the standings to find out what bowl game we got. Please be the BCS Championship game, which we'll look at right after we're done looking at the stats for this game. And here's today's Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, brought to you by Reese's. Yeah, Deontay Walsh picking up that fumble and getting us a touchdown. Winner. Play of the game. Final thoughts? They've talked about and then the go. All week long or maybe it's the not goat. The intensity down the field. Maybe it's play of the game because the donkey ball licking at the end. Love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. And for Hayden, his reward for a solid performance is our player of the game honor. He did an excellent job filling in for Hartman who got hurt. Hopefully Hartman will be back next time. He's supposed to be. Commander-in-Chief's trophy. For Navy, they continue their run at a perfect season. And for Army, their season continues to be rocky as their record drops to 5-7. and seven. Thank that brings you, this man. broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit. Let us never talk about the first we'll quarter again, though. <laughs> that first NCAA quarter was horrible. Well, by the offense. The defense did enough. Hayden had an outstanding game. Tons of sacks. Come on, let's go see those stats. Enough of butt cam. Enough of butt sniffing cam. All right, let's let's go see the game stats. Player stats. Mr. America definitely had a rough game early. Still okay quarterback rating. Three interceptions. We cannot have that in a bowl game. But he did what we needed. Touchdown, 163 yards. Big player of the game right there. Hayden, 182 yards rushing. Outstanding. We had three different halfbacks play in that game. You can see Hayden, <laughs> Gant, and Hartman. Tenlo still had a big game. Sheepies and Club Panic get some good catches. We spread the ball around. Even Butler and Allen had it. And then our defense once again came in huge. Look at that. On fire. On fire. All-star. All-American. On fire. On fire. Our defense is just doing outstanding. Let's go see what kind of bowl game we got. I am so beyond pissed off right now. Congratulations, your team has received a bid to play in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. This is fucking bullshit. This is bullshit! Now don't get me wrong, the Rose Bowl is obviously one of the most prestigious bowls. We are ranked number- we didn't get the BCS game! Uh, Flab has won the Lombardi Award. Great job by Flab. Uh, I've won Coach of the Year! I'm Coach of the Year, but we're still not going to the BCS, even though we won the BCS Championship last year, even though we were undefeated. And I'm going to show you why this is bullshit in a moment. I cannot believe that. We had the toughest season we've ever had. We've had easier seasons, and we've made it to the Bulls game. I mean, we have a bowl game, but you know, the bowl game, the BCS Championship. I am so fucking pissed right now. Like, if we didn't... There were other teams that had easier schedules than ours. And in fact, if this ever gets done compiling stats, we're going to go look at it. So let's go to the top 25 polls. This is because of the asshole coaches. Well, even the media put us there. This is ridiculous. Okay, so let's look at our schedule. I think it's more info. Here's our schedule. Look at that. One, I'm, I'm counting right now because you can't see my hand. I am counting teams that we were played, that we played that were in the top 25. Georgia, Bama, Notre Dame, LSU, UCLA, uh, what's that, Oklahoma, and USC? Oh wait, USC doesn't count because that's the bowl game. <laughs> Six fucking games we played against top 25 teams. And... LSU was like number one or number two in the nation when we played them. We played six teams. Six teams that were ranked in the top 25. So let's go look at Virginia. How many top 25 teams do they play? One. Michigan doesn't count at the end because that's their bowl game for the BCS. The only top 25 team they played... All year it was Cincinnati. And they played Army too, so we can't say, hey, 
uh, it's because we played Army an easier team. They played Army too. How many teams do they play with winning records? Uh, Rutgers, who we also beat. Cincinnati. They only beat two teams with winning records? You're fucking kidding me. Two teams with winning records. Every other team they played was at 500 or had a losing record. Bullshit. That is such bullshit. We played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams with winning records. I am so fucking pissed. They played only two teams with winning records. Only one team in the top 25. Like Michigan, I understand Michigan maybe being ahead of us. They have a Big Ten schedule. You can see they played a number of top 25 teams. Two, four, six, right? Two, four, six. Technically, I think we played more top 25 teams than them, but they were playing Big Ten teams. I get Michigan being ahead of us, but this is total coach bullshit that West Virginia got ranked ahead of us. I am fucking pissed. I look forward to the Rose Bowl. Hopefully we win the Rose Bowl, but we should have been in the BCS championship. Talk about a rigged system. This is why in real life we have playoffs now. I'll see you all next time. When we're going to try and win the Rose Bowl. Take it easy, everybody.